What's good, YouTube? What's good? Welcome back. Dub Digital. Crypto news and macro trends. Coindesk. Gold reaches all-time high as Bitcoin breaks above 11K. Well, if you follow this, this channel, you know that's not a surprise to me, okay? In this macro environment where the Fed's printing money, dollars are raining from the sky, you're making it rain like a rapper on some strippers. What do you expect? All the, all the money's gonna go somewhere. Everyone knows that it's too much money getting printed and they're putting it in things that will probably benefit from this. Inflationary environment. We're having deflation and inflation at the same time. That combination of emotions is making people to search out perceived safe haven assets. So certain assets are catching the brunt of the inflation. That's gold and Bitcoin because over time those assets have shown to do that, to gain purchasing power in the face of inflation. Let's jump into it. The price of gold reaches a new all-time intraday high of $1,942 Monday, extending a rally that started in 2019. A record high of the yellow metal comes during an approximately 28% rally since January. Gold's previous record high of 1900 whatever was reached on September 6, 2011. Bitcoin, often viewed as digital gold, soared to 11,400 as the stalwart cryptocurrency keeps pace with gold. Bitcoin gained more than 13% over the past 24 hours. That doesn't matter because you're going to listen to this when you listen to it. All right, quick piece. I like to make more of a kind of a commentary video here. So what do we know about the economy? Being macro investors first, not just crypto, everything consider to increase your chances of success what do we know about the macro environment is this an environment that bitcoin and gold can grow i would say hell to the yeah look everyone thinks that there's going to be a stock market crash i thought the the crash back in what december 2019 or winter of 2019 was it man we're dropping like a stone but guess what happened the Fed came in and printed some headline. They just printed some crap, said some things like, oh, we're going to help out. And then everyone and their mom jumps back into stocks. I mean, look, the market's not exactly rational right now, man. And in fact, a lot of these traders, these big firms, program into their trading bots computer language that makes them scan headlines. So in fact, if that's happening and a, a large amount of trades are dictated based on journalism and in fact bad journalism, the Fed can actually directly influence the direction of the market just by saying something. Regardless of, of, of Jim Cramers and, and Robin Hood investors just jumping in when they don't know anything about stocks, you know, that's also happening too. The market can stay irrational longer than you can stay solvent. Remember that. Everyone's thinking the stock market's going to drop, but the Fed stayed the last time, and the Fed keeps saying, we're going to print unlimited money. Don't trip. Stock market drops, I'll buy that. Housing drops, I'll buy that. I'll buy that, I'll buy that, I'll buy that, I'll buy that, I'll buy that. That's what Trump House sitting over there in the Fed is like, yeah, I got you, guys. I got you. I got you. You, you. you lost some money? I got you. You don't want to be accountable? I got you. I got you. Because this is America. United Socialism of America. <laughs> Remember this, guys. They're not just really nice dudes. They're, one, printing your currency away, which means that what you have in the bank account will buy less, guaranteed, next year. Remember that. And also, two, it's not given to the United States. Federal debt printing is a loan to the United States. Who pays loans to the United States? You and me, via taxes. So not only are you going to get hit with inflation, but your taxes are going to go up. Not financial advice. But seriously, look, in this environment where your money is going to go down in what it can buy, less your money can buy less and less food, your paycheck can buy less and less electricity. When that happens, people go and search out hedges to that because people don't like to live worse than they did the year before. That sucks. And if they can help it, they will. And the things that have provided the most inflation hedge has been gold over that period of thousand years and Bitcoin over a period of 10 years. Um, so yes, stocks should and can fall, but I think we still have a ways to go before that happens. I think there's a lot of upside, not financial advice, do your own research, take your own risk. 
a lot of upside in the stock market doesn't mean I'm in it. Actually, I'm not in it at all. I'd rather take positions of assets that are closer to the bottom than they are at the top because that means I have more percentage gain. So I've transitioned completely out of stocks and I'm in assets I believe are undervalued, one of them being Bitcoin and cryptocurrencies. Short one for y'all, but this is something to keep in mind. Look, gold futures are pushing all time highs. Once it passes that, we're in price discovery for gold. Gold will be hitting new all time highs. Gold typically precedes Bitcoin. Bitcoin typically precedes silver, and then all coins follow that. So, you know, not financial advice, but you can fight upstream. You could swim, you could run uphill, or you can just walk downhill to the beach and kick it. There's a lot to be said with just going with the flow, man, and realizing when there's a time to be defensive and a time to be aggressive. And it has to be in the right asset classes. We'll get into that later because I'm Dove Digital. Crypto news and macro trends. Keeping up to date with all this hot, hot fire. Peace.